Hi guys, this is Razor Eye, and right now we'll be doing the quest Incomparable Master Quest under Mystery. We need to look for Master Ball. So go to the sneak pit and move to the right side of the map. You should see Bok Yang Jiao on the top of the cliff. We just need to jump on these cliffs here to reach Master Bok. There, he is still training. Let's go talk to him. So our quest here is to find different masters to train our character. Okay, so we received that. Our next clue, we go to Mysteries. We need to look for Kang Shirin. So we need to ask people near Sochon Trading Post. Go to Sochon Trading Post and move to the bottom of the screen. You'll see the icon there. So let's just fast travel to the nearest monster. Yu Wu Jong is at the top of the hill. Just jump right over the hills to reach her. Be careful because the side of the cliff is slippery. So let's talk to her. We are still looking for Kang Shirin. Let's check our update. Make sure that you are leveled up at this point. You must be level 76 or higher to progress. Currently, I am level 91, so it's okay. Go and meet your wall in Sochon Trading Post. You can teleport there. So right now we need to talk to your wall. She is saying that she was tricked by Wu Wang. And that is exactly the master that we're looking for. She is telling us to get the beastly Nefariox talisman. And that will be our next quest item. To fight the beast in Nefariox, you must craft an item to summon it. Let me guide you on how to do it. Go to Yugi Sik in Spiritual Center. He is the craft master.
To prepare for this, you will need several craft items. Select the Beast in Nefarious Summoning Scroll and you'll see the items below which you can get from Secret Peak. By now, you should have these items. If not, farm them first. You should get them from Secret Peak. I crafted 5 summoning scrolls, this is because it will uh, drop the item only by chance. So this gives me 5 chances to beat the BC Nefariox. Once you have the BC Nefariox summoning scroll, go back to the Sochon trading post. It's located at the same bottom part of the map. You can summon the BC Nefariox here, make sure that you have a party or high level. You might need to summon him multiple times to get the quest item. That's why we bought 5 summoning scrolls. Just a pro tip, avoid a skill that produces lava floors. Try to ask help if you cannot defeat him. It's better to fight a monster with parties or your clanmates. Use an item to increase the drop rate. I ask help from my clanmates, the Sengetsu clan. But luckily, I was able to defeat the boss alone. I also got the quest item on the first try. I'm so lucky. Shout out to Jenny for answering my call of help. There, I get the PC Nefarious Talisman. It's time to go back to your wall. To find Wuom, he is on the same map to the left. We just need to jump to the top of the cliff.
on this next quest, you will need the Centipede Uses Venom. This can be obtained in the boss raid, Grand Centipedes. Once you have the item, go back to the Sochon Trading Post at the bottom of the map. And then, talk to Yeo Wujong. Chase him on the rightmost part of the same map. Make sure that you go inside further. And then it's time to beat Master Wuam. So there you have it, we have completed the mystery, Boundless Trickster Buwam. This is Race Rice signing out, always remember to level up your playstyle and see you next time. Bye bye.